get you through the cold and flu season or at least help you through it. Big ones are thyme, sage, um, oh my God, I had it written down, rosemary, ginger, um, lemon ginger tea, chamomile, uh, raw honey. These are all products that you can just go down the herb aisle, grab a sage, grab a thyme, grab a rosemary. Um, they make specific lemon ginger teas. I can't remember if it's yogi or traditional medicinals. Grab a box of that. Grab a box of chamomile tea. Uh, chamomile tea is great for helping to low fevers, especially in the littles. Um, people are like, well, I can't get tea into my kids. They're not going to sit and drink that. The best thing you can do to help your kids, make a tea, turn it into ice cubes, drop it in their sippy cups. They're getting the medicinal property that they need from those herbs. It's going to help lower the fever and it's going to encourage them to drink more fluids. Um, thyme and sage, if you grew them during the summer, um, those plants do not go completely dormant uh, during the winter. So you can grab little bits and pieces if you need to. Uh, you can make a tea out of sage. Sage is fantastic as a gargle. It helps get rid of the bacteria and you know the viral gunk that's sitting in there. It helps break up the mucus in the throat and it's soothing to a sore throat. Just make a cup of tea. I would suggest you add a little salt as if you were doing a salt water gargle. And the two of those together, super helpful with the sore throat. Thyme is really good for breaking up uh, mucus in the throat uh, and helping to open up the sinuses. Uh, rosemary, y'all know how much I love a rosemary inhalation tent. If you're really stuffed up, um, make a tea and then just get, get under a tent and only stay in there for a couple, you know, a couple good deep breaths, get out, go back in, do it two or three times, dump out that water. I know there are some herbalists that say, oh, you can reuse it. Don't reuse it. You just breathe all that gunk into there, get rid of it. Um, another quick hack, I think they're, oh my God, I don't know how much they are, but I know by my pick and save, they're selling these rosemary Christmas trees. Some of them are flocked, don't use those, but get the regular ones. Now you got fresh rosemary in the house. You can cut those up, you can throw them in the, you know, in the hot water, you're gonna get more of that beautiful medicinal herbal scent. And you know what, if you're boiling it without doing an inhalation tent and the whole house is starting to smell, you're getting that as well. Um, raw honey, you know the benefits of raw honey. Um, also gonna be super helpful for sweetening some of the teas, especially you know for the little kids if you can't get it in them. Um, and also really good, really good assist with the sore throats. High, you know, it's an antioxidant, it's antibacterial, antiviral. So again, things you want to have in your kitchen cabinet, thyme, sage, rosemary, ginger, uh, lemon ginger tea, chamomile tea, and raw honey. I made sure to write all this down so when you guys are looking at the post, it's written right there. If you have any questions on how to use them, Call me, call me here at the shop. You can shoot me an email at Susie at AromaticLessons.net or reach out here on Facebook Messenger. If you need a little more help, we have more products in shop that can help you. Um, we've got this, guys. I mean, they, they did it in the old days, right? What you had in your kitchen cabinet is what helped to make you feel better. Um, again, we're always here for whatever you guys need. Be well blessed once and stay healthy.